Nemo Radio is on the air. A, B, C. A, always B, B, C. Closing. Always be closing. Always be closing. Surely you can't be serious. I am serious. And don't call me Shirley. Put that coffee down. Coffee's for closers only. Come after me! I'm a man! I'm 40! Let's dive in without any further ado. This first video I'm going to play for you is a training video from Inside LinkedIn Riches that really takes a deep dive into the sales psychology, how to really sell on LinkedIn. So it's just a couple of minutes really taking a deep dive on how we want to sell on LinkedIn, what you need to do, what you need to avoid. So buckle up. Let's do this. And now I want to move into some of the psychology and some of the strategy for selling well on LinkedIn. Now, the number one mistake I see people making on LinkedIn when they're trying to use it to sell their products and services is they immediately just try to marry someone on the first date, right? They connect and immediately are trying to sell people or they connect and they're immediately trying to ask people for time or ask people you know, for a phone call or ask people for a coffee meeting or ask if they can give a free demo. Too soon, right? You can't marry somebody on the first date. There needs to be some professional courtship involved. And especially now, we live in an era, everyone is so busy, everyone is so engaged, everyone is running 100 million miles an hour in the marketplace. You can't just ask people for their time and attention. You have to earn it. You have to earn the right. You have to earn the right to ask for someone's time and attention. Yes, you do, right? People are not just gonna give you 15 minutes of their day anymore, especially if they've never met you and just connected to you on LinkedIn. Now, the way that you earn someone's time, the way that you purchase their attention is with your content. Your content is your currency. Your content that you create, that free content that I just talked about, that is the currency you use to buy the time, attention, and interest of your prospects online. And because you're baking the exact type of chocolate chip cookie that this exact person loves to eat, that you know they would love to eat, that you know they're going to love and think is delicious, it's very easy to buy their time and attention because it's targeted, because it's focused, because it's exactly what that person is looking for to help themselves get their goals met. Another key mistake that I see people making on LinkedIn and on online in general is way too many people are just claiming authority. Way too many people are claiming they're an expert, are claiming they're a guru, are claiming they're a ninja, are claiming they can do this for you, are claiming they can save you this much money, are claiming they can help you make that much money. Not nearly enough people demonstrate authority. Not nearly enough people demonstrate expertise first. That's what I want you to do. And that is what your free content is going to do. Because I'm going to walk you through in the next few videos how to create great content in an easy way as well. Okay? It's not overwhelming. Don't get freaked out about it. But I want you to demonstrate your expertise. I want you to demonstrate your credibility. I want you to demonstrate your authority first before you ever ask for a thing from people. Because when you do it this way... People know you, they like you, they trust you. You have demonstrated you're good. You have demonstrated that you can help them get the benefits they want or achieve the goals that they're dreaming about. Okay, anyone can claim it. We've all been burned by people who claimed they could get us a million email subscribers in a week or claimed they could help us make millions on Facebook or claimed they could help us lose 50 pounds in just three short weeks or whatever it is, right? When someone demonstrates the authority, when someone gets to know us and personalizes the engagement, which is easy to do on LinkedIn and which I'm going to show you how to do, when someone gets to know, like, and trust you, then they want to buy from you. So that's where demonstrating it comes into play. It positions you as an authority. It positions you as an expert. It lets you charge more money, right? Because you've already demonstrated you're really good. You've already shared incredible wisdom and insight and value with your free content. You can charge more, right? You can charge more because you're the real deal. And this really dovetails into another core strategy, which is the ask that you make of someone has to be in direct proportion to the amount of trust you have earned to this point. Okay, so let me repeat that. Your ask has to equal the amount of trust earned to this point. 
So if I just connected with you on LinkedIn, you've never met me before, I can't ask you to immediately buy a $2,000 training program, right? Like, you're gonna be like, what? Who are you? Are you crazy? No, I don't know you. I don't like you. I don't trust you. You can't just throw testimonials at me. You can't just throw sales pitches at me. I, you don't even know me. How do you know what I want, right? I've got to warm you up. You've got to warm up your prospect. You've got to earn some trust. You've got to earn some credibility. So that's where that free content comes into play. So think of it this way. Let's say I wanted to sell my LinkedIn Riches training to business coaches, or you wanted to sell your product to a target audience. If we just connect on LinkedIn, or I connect with you, you're a business coach, the first thing I'm going to ask you for is not your time, is not your attention, is not your money. I'm going to ask you if you want to consume a piece of free content that has a headline that says three ways business coaches can get more clients using LinkedIn. Well, if you're a business coach, that's one of your goals is to get more clients. And if I'm telling you, hey, I wrote a post specifically for you as a business coach, giving you some free advice on how to use LinkedIn to get clients, that's an easy ask, right? There's not a lot of risk involved for the business coach to check that post out, right? I, I haven't asked for a thing other than I thought you'd find this helpful. You're not asking for them to buy anything yet. And that's what I'm talking about. Now, if you want someone to buy a more expensive program or product, You've got to earn that trust, right? It's got to be earned over time with the content you create. If you do a great, you know, one hour webinar where you really just share incredible strategies and tips and advice and people can see and get a bunch of quick wins from it, then you've earned the right to ask them to buy your $2,000 training because you've earned it. You've proven it. So there's a difference in the type of content you create and how much trust it earns. The more trust and the more value your content can bring someone, the higher your ask can be. Now, another key strategy, and I know I've already screamed it from the mountaintops, but I'm going to scream it one more time. <laughs> is the riches are in the niches. With selling on LinkedIn, the psychology, the strategy, it all has to be niche, targeted, hyper-focused on someone based on their job title, their industry type. You want to really understand how to leverage this data that LinkedIn gives you. If LinkedIn tells me, this is a business coach in uh, Syracuse, New York. I want to create a piece of content that says how business coaches in Syracuse, New York can get more clients online using LinkedIn, right? Like I want to be that targeted with my content. I want to be that niche and hyper-focused because again, people love when you're appealing to them. They love when they feel like, wow, you're all about me. You're all about my world. You're all about my industry. You specialize in my industry. You really know my industry. You've got success stories and case studies and testimonials from people in my industry. Your content is written for people in my industry. Now, of course, you have your product or service that can work for anyone and everyone, which we all know. But when you make those subtle twists, those subtle shifts to really help it appeal to a target audience, it could be as simple as just putting their job title in the headline of your blog. That could be enough to get them excited to read it. And that's the key. The riches are in the niches. Now, this leads me to my last big strategy point before we dive in deeper into some of these concepts. Your headlines are everything. And we're going to spend a lot of time on writing great headlines and how to really capture people's attention. But just for now, understand this strategy point. With any kind of content you create, whether it's an ebook or a video or a blog post or a webinar, if it has a boring headline or a confusing headline or just kind of a meh headline, people are not gonna read it. You may put blood, sweat, and tears into creating the greatest blog post ever, loaded with tips, super helpful, but if it has a bad headline, no one's ever gonna read it, and your genius will go unrewarded, my friends. So, so we are gonna walk through in the videos to come how to create killer headlines, how to really capture people's attention. But right now, before we finish, I wanna share with you the ideal headline formula that you can use for any niche, any audience, anywhere on LinkedIn. And here it is, it's got three components. Here's the magic headline formula I want you to remember. Your target audience name, plus your service, plus the benefit they want. Your headline has those three components. The target audience name is in it, the service that you wanna eventually sell them is in it, and then a benefit that they want or something they'll achieve is also in the headline. So let me break this down for you. Let's say I sell online video services, animated marketing videos or something like that. 
I want to target a niche audience. Let's say I really want to sell to chiropractors. So I would create a headline that says three ways chiropractors can leverage online video to land new patients. So now let's break that headline down for a minute. If you look at it, the chiropractor in blue here is the target audience, right? The online video is the service that I want to sell to them eventually. And the benefit they want in red there is the new patients. Do you see this? Do you see the magic of this formula, right? You're talking about your target audience. You're putting their name in the headline, which is chiropractors. You're talking about your service, right, which is online video. And most importantly, you're talking about a benefit that they want, which is new patients. Now, you're not going to create content that is salesy and it's just a blatant advertisement. And I'll walk you through how to do this. But understand for now how critical this three-part headline formula is. So now as we finish up this video, I want to mention you should see on the right-hand side in the download folder a PDF for LinkedIn sales funnel steps and strategies. It's going to highlight what we've talked about in this video. It's going to have that list of those eight steps for a sales funnel. It's going to have those key strategies I talked about. It's going to have that headline formula. I want you to download that print it out and keep it handy because every time you're setting up a new sales funnel on LinkedIn, every time you're creating content, every time you're targeting an audience, you're going to want to be following these steps and remembering these strategies. So download that PDF, yeah. keep it handy. Keep it's it a great handy. reminder a great for you. Reminder and for when you. you're ready, let's when go to the ready, next video. Let's go to the next video. All right. So I'm back live. That was a quick tour, a uh, high level overview of the best possible sales strategy kind of psychology for LinkedIn. And I realized as I'm rewatching it, I'm like, it, it comes from the training, so all the pieces might not fit. Um, but I did put up a PDF here in the chat, so you can download that. That's got what I call the eight steps of a successful LinkedIn sales funnel, and we can walk through that at another time, and then also some of the notes, the takeaways from this video. And then in the next video, I want to show you kind of a deeper dive into actually how to engage and message people on LinkedIn, because that's really where the rubber meets the road. That really is how we talk to people. And so I want to start, um, I'm going to do a little screen share action here, share entire screen. And hopefully, um, just type yes in the chat if you can see my screen okay. I want to make sure that that pops up for you. So just type yes in the chat if you now see my screen and my smiling face here. So let me make sure that's working before. There's a little bit of a lag with Webinar Jam. Um, but I wanna show you an example of what, what we see a lot and then how to kind of change that. So let me make sure, yep, people are saying yes. Okay, cool. So this, and I'm not trying to throw shade on this gentleman who reached out to me. Um, this was an example of a inbound invite I got. Okay, so again, if you think about LinkedIn, and when you kind of back up to the, you know, 50,000 foot view, when you go searching on LinkedIn for prospects, and you start connecting and engaging, what often will happen, and this was funny, because I tried to actually coach this guy up as he invited me. So he's a certified financial planner, etc. So he did a good job with his headline. I knew what his service is, right, and what he's doing, etc. But this is this is the invite. Right. This is the first connection I get. Hey, I have this reply. Yes. If you want my free guide right on 401k. So think about this from my point of view as a prospect. And I actually wrote back. I said, hey, man, slow down, like slow your roll. You're trying to marry me on the first date. Right. Because how do you even know if I have a 401k? How do you know if I'm even interested in your service? How do you even know um, that I'm not a financial advisor on the side, right? Like there could be all these things. And the first thing, and we're going to get into this in, in a minute with the training video, but the first thing, and I tried to coach Brett through is ask me some questions. Hey, curious, do you have a 401k? Are you looking for tips? And the other thing I told this person too was looking at his profile, he went to a local university that is a rival of mine. So we went to similar colleges in the same area in Minneapolis, St. Paul. So he could have seen that on my, um, as an icebreaker immediately, just looking at my profile. So I'm saying, hey, like, you know, just slow the roll a little bit, break the ice with me with a little pregame banter, right? Hey, I see you went to this school. I went to a rival school. And then I actually rewrote his invite for him. So the invite he could have sent me instead of, hey, do you want my free guide, blah, 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 was, 
Instead, he could have said, hey, came across profile, would love to connect. And then I'm funny. So I would he could have a joke in there, even though you went to my rival school. Right. Then I'm trying to coach him through. This is how to break the ice. Then this is going to get into the training in a second. But see how I'm trying to tell him. And I actually rewrote his pitch for him. Ask me questions. Curious, do you have a 401k? Like, start there with your prospect. Do you even have this? Is this even of interest? The reason I ask is, here's then his pitch. There's four big mistakes people make. And then ask permission, which he did. If you'd like, I can send it over. If not, no worries, right? So it really also helps qualify people. And he's just like, yeah, thanks. Okay. So I don't think I don't think he was super excited about me rewriting his whole pitch. But I wanted to share that as an example for you um, because uh, that's really – oh, sorry, Scott, that the screen was so small. I'm not sure what's going on there. Um, but, yeah, hey, Coach Phil. Oh, good, you made it in. Okay. Anyway, all of that to say – and you get this every day too in your inbox, people are kind of pitching you right away and they're, they're not qualifying you. There's no context. There's no professional courtship. They're not warming you up. And that's just, I want to show an example, not to call out Brett, but just to say, I've made that mistake too. I see it in my inbox every day. And now with the video I'm going to play in a second, this is also from the LinkedIn riches, the full online course. Um, This is going to be a deep dive into how to message people on LinkedIn after you've connected, after you've broken the ice. Like I mentioned, talking about, oh, I see you went to this university or how do you like living in this city or how's the weather, you know, whatever it is. Once you break the ice, now let's talk through kind of a deeper dive into psychology with one-on-one LinkedIn messaging because all the money on LinkedIn is in these one-on-one messages. It's in the mailbox. So without further ado, we're going to take a deep dive here now in this training video. Again, it's from the full online course, how to really um, get into the mailbox and get results, get people engaged. So before I let you loose lead generating and prospecting and engaging on LinkedIn, I've got to talk about the fundamental psychology of how to get people to engage. This is where you're going to separate yourself from 99% of people. And you're going to hear me say this ad nauseum. All the money on LinkedIn right now here today, all the money is in the mailbox. The money is in the mailbox. This is where you need to be spending your time, one-on-one messaging. And, you know, for all of you automation hounds and just give me a template and copy-paste, like, I hate to break it to you. This breaking news, breaking news, these are human beings. (laughs) These are human. You don't like getting marketed to like you're a robot. You don't get like getting marketed to like you're a number or like you're a copy and paste, click, click, click. You like getting marketed to like a person. And what I mean by that is conversational, informal, break the ice, engage, banter. And so let me explain some of that in this video, the psychology behind the scripts that I'm going to be giving you. So here's an example of a follow-up. So let's say... As an example, Adam and I connect. I've got a great personalized invitation about where he lives or his job or something personal, and I've showed you already how to do that. Now let's say I'm going to send a follow-up automated message. Again, it's automated, which is great. I'm inserting the person's first name, Adam. But notice I'm not going to sell anything in this message, and I'm not going to even offer anything. And what I have found, things have changed. Things have changed on LinkedIn just because people are getting so inundated in their inbox with, hey, do you want to have coffee? Hey, can we spend 15 minutes? Hey, how can I help you? Hey, do you want this? Do you want this? Do you want this? Just taking one step back, and again, you're automating it, so it's not like you have to do about a bunch of extra work in this case, or you're just copying and pasting in a script, even if you're doing it manually. But here's the psychology behind this message. I say, great to connect, put in their name. Also, what's one thing I can't learn about you just from looking at your LinkedIn profile? And then I share a crazy story. I love the band Pearl Jam so much that this is a true story. I had mono. I still drove to the concert, 104 degree fever. The doctor's like, you might die. I'm like, dude, I'm 21. It's 1994. It's Pearl Jam. I am not missing the concert. That was a great concert. But anyway, just again, think about this. When I'm interacting with Adam in real life, uh, in a coffee shop, meeting for lunch, whatever, as a prospect, we're breaking the ice. We're getting to know and like each other as humans. That's the idea of this message. What's something not about work that I can learn about you? 
Here's a crazy story about me. Uh, I've had other clients where they say, hey, fun fact, I love to do wood carving. Fun fact, I love parasailing and I once got dumped in a bay when the parachute didn't open, right? Like, just share something fun about you. Remember, people need to get to know and like you as a human being before they're going to trust you with your information and tips. So put something personal in. So part one is, what's well, something I can't learn about you? Part two, here's a fun fact about me. And then I like to, with my personality, I say, can you top that? Here's the key line. All kidding aside, I realize you're playing against the trend. All kidding aside, I realize so many LinkedIn messages can be spammy sales pitches, boring business jargon right off the top or right off the hop. Instead, I like to remind myself, look at what you're doing here. We are still communicating with humans, so it's great to connect. I'd love to see if you can top my story. This script is the first message this type of script is the first message I send a new connection. And even if they don't reply, they get to know and like me a little bit. I become more memorable. That's unique. That's different. He's that crazy Pearl Jam guy. You stand out from the crowd. The biggest sin that you can make on LinkedIn or in marketing is to be boring, is to be unmemorable, is to be bland, is to be vanilla. So put your personality into these messages, put personal touches in. Now that's how to do this follow-up approach. I'm gonna also explain to you the psychology. Once you've followed up and once you've engaged and once you've broken the ice with these individuals, then we'll pivot into what I call messaging magic and really understanding the formula for the one-on-one -on -one ongoing messages where you're gonna be sharing content, offering advice, offering tips. But first we wanna break the ice. And yes, I know you're sitting here going, no, I just want to sell, sell, sell. Remember, we can't bypass the fact that these are humans. What is their number one interest? What is their number one concern, number one topic? It's themselves. They want to talk about themselves. Their favorite subject is themselves. Their big pain point and need is their business, is their issues, is their challenges. You've got to get to know, like, and trust them. They've got to get to know, like, and trust you. You've got to break the ice first. And that's what these templates for new connections are meant to do. Once you've broken the ice, once you've got a new connection going, even if they don't engage with you, now you've set the table, you've earned the right, because you've kind of warmed up a little bit, to ask if they want more. Ask if they want free content, a webinar, etc. And then we're moving further into the funnel. Now, I want to show you kind of what I call my ideal one-on-one -on -one messaging script. And it's important to note, this comes after you break the professional ice, after you've started some one-on-one -on -one conversations, just like real life, just like a real life face-to-face -face coffee meeting or lunch, you don't immediately start with talking business, correct? You start with breaking the ice. So make sure you start there. Break the ice, warm the person up, practice a little professional courtship, and then we'll pivot into what I call this ideal one-on-one -on -one message script. And what I'm gonna show you is that it's got four key parts. The first part is you ask a question. That's what you start this one-on-one -on -one message with. Curious, are you looking for blank? And then second part is you offer something of value. If so, I have this that I can offer you free, right? To demonstrate some value and expertise. Part three is, and I'm gonna walk through this in depth, you ask permission. You don't just assume that the person wants your link, wants your info, you don't just include it. You ask permission. And the fourth part, and perhaps the most important is, you don't pressure people. You have a simple way to say, hey, look, if, if you're not interested, no worries at all. Let me walk you through what this looks like. And here's kind of a, a sample template of it. So I'll say to a person, curious, are you interested in blank? And blank would be a benefit that they want. So for example, when I'm connecting with a new business coach on LinkedIn, is I'll say, you know, after we connect, so glad we got connected, I'll break the professional ice. But I'll say, curious, are you interested in blank, the benefit? Are you interested in using LinkedIn to find new clients? Now, I know my target audience. I know one of the things they're looking for help with, a pain point, is finding clients. And so I'm saying, are you interested at all in using LinkedIn to achieve, you know, this benefit to get clients? And then I say, the reason I ask, I specialize in helping people just like you, right, targeting niche approach. I specialize in helping coaches and consultants find clients on LinkedIn without being salesy or spammy. Now I ask permission. 
I pivot. I say, I'm happy to share some free tips and strategies if you're interested. Just reply yes. I'm not including the free tips. I'm not including links. I'm not assuming they want anything yet. Just reply yes. I can send over some free resources to get you started. Then I pivot and I finish with no worries at all, no pressure. If you're not interested, no problem, no worries at all. Either way, great to be connected and learn more about you. And it's following this same script that I outlined where you're basically you know, using those four elements. You ask a question, hey, curious, are you looking for help in this area? You offer something of value. If you are, then I've got this free resource, You know, whether it's content, whether it's your time, whether it's a free consultation, whatever it is, you offer something of value. Part three is you ask permission. You don't just include a link to your calendar. You don't just include a link to your blog or webinar. You ask if they want it. That is a huge step you've got to follow through with and make sure because people don't want to just get spammed, so to speak, with your links and content. They want to feel like they're in control of saying, yes, I'm interested or no, I don't need the link. Then you don't put pressure on them. Remember, you want to be able to circle back to people. Remember the long game. If they're not interested in this specific topic or message, that doesn't mean they might not be later because you're going to come back to them over time with different messages and different offerings and different things. And so, of course, when they say yes, now you can send the follow-ups. So the idea here is to use this four-part script as a one-on-one -on -one LinkedIn message. Again, asking a question, offering something of value, asking permission and not pressuring people. Because remember, you're going to circle back to this person again and again and again and again over time. You're not going to send them something every day. I typically recommend maybe two times a month you send an outbound message. And now once Margaret said to me, yes, I'm interested. I'm interested in you sending me the link. I personalized my response. Awesome. So great to hear that. Here's a link to the content. Can't wait to hear what you think. Now, she will go over, ideally, she'll click on the link. This builds my email list. Notice what I'm doing is I'm getting Margaret off of LinkedIn. I want her off of LinkedIn, and I want her coming over to my digital property, to my house, which is my website. And I want to put her onto my email list. I want to get her again off of LinkedIn and over to my digital property. That's the idea with these messages and sharing links to content is get them off of LinkedIn, get them onto the phone, get them onto your website, get them onto your email list, because you don't want to just spend all your time here on LinkedIn. You want to move the conversation out of LinkedIn and out of the coffee shop, so to speak, and over to your office, which is going to be your website. So that's the strategy behind these one-on-one -on -one personal messages. As you're going through this, again, it's like a real-life one-on-one conversation. Feel it out. Does it feel right now to pivot into, hey, would you be interested in talking more about blank? You get to decide. You get to have that feeling. I will sometimes click on the contact info and just call a person and just say, you know, again, it's not a cold call because what I'm doing in this case, I clicked see contact info. And what I can do is just warm call the person and don't call Margaret. Okay. While you're watching this, but what I can do is I can say, Hey, Margaret, I know we've been talking back and forth on LinkedIn today. I thought it'd be easier just to pick up the phone and call you. Now, related to your question on blank, I've got a great program. I really think makes sense for you. Let me ask you a few questions and see if it's a good fit. See how we do this? We take this from LinkedIn and we escalate it to a more personal conversation, a phone call, a meeting, get them over to your email list, whatever it might be. Be creative, be innovative, take the initiative, read the tone of these conversations and take the next right action. Ask the next right question. Don't be shy, bring out your personality, converse one-on-one, -on -one, and this is how you're going to win business on LinkedIn. Again, I started the video saying it. I'll finish the video saying it. The money on LinkedIn is in the mailbox. So spend time in here. Try different approaches. Use the scripts and templates I've created. Use lots of different approaches. See what resonates and do more of it. I'll be sharing some case studies later in the training in the bonus area too of what really works and what has worked for certain students in certain professions. You need to really develop this and test it and tweak it. And once you do, man, 
This is where all the business is. So now if you're a very visual person, if it helps to map out a process or if you've got a virtual assistant or a team member who's gonna be helping you on LinkedIn and you wanna have instructions, this is a great example of a, well, this is a very detailed flow chart that one of our students, Mark McGraw made. He's a total rock star and he is in sales training. And so he actually created all of this using Google documents, totally free. And I'm gonna show you in a minute how to make this, how simple it is. Uh, but basically, Mark has a whole system for, you know, targeting prospects on LinkedIn. And, you know, if they do this, then send this. And so what he does is, you know, step one here is he identifies, he runs a LinkedIn search, he sends out item number one here, you know, meet Leonard, he uses that to send an invite to connect. And then he has this flow chart where it says, if they connect, they have Leonard send a follow-up message. If they don't connect, then he has another process for that. And then he has four different scenarios. Out of his follow-up message, you know, typically people have one of four responses. They want to know more, they're looking for a job, they've already been through the Sandler training, or they have no interest. And this, so then depending on the response they give him, he's got these other boxes, right? So this is a brilliant way to walk through. For example, if they say, nope, I'm not interested, he has a specific script, no interest message, he changes their tag, do not contact, marks them as skip so he doesn't bother with them, right? He's sorting out his leads and his prospects this way. If they say, hey, I'm actually looking for a job, then he's got a job seeker message he sends them and that stops that process. If they engage and wanna know more, then he you know, looks them up, looks to personalize, right? Looks at their profile, sends this template he has, and then, you know, based on their response, he'll take a different set of actions. And Mark actually points out, you can use Google Docs and Google Draw, which are two programs, to create a bookmark feature, which will link to your scripts. So for example, in Google Docs, you can create, you know, you just go under new, and you create a new Google Doc, which is like a Microsoft Word document. Then here in Google Draw, which is just, uh, docs.google.com and I'll link to this. It's just a fact here. Watch, I'll show you. <laughs> Let's just use Google, Google draw. If I type in Google draw, you can see Google drawings. Here's the URL. You can create diagrams and charts for free. So what Mark did is he went in here and at the top, you can see you can do text boxes and shapes and things like that. So I'll do a text box or actually I'll do a little shape. I'll do a rectangle. I'll draw one of those. And then I'll do some text. So I click the text box up here and I'm going to draw that inside there and I'll say, you know, say. all right, I'm coming back. I'm coming back. Sorry that <laughs> I'm coming back on live just because I was doing a little tutorial on Google draw that I can save for another time. Um, because again, this is pulled out of my full online course and there's a bunch of good questions coming in. So I want to come back on live answer questions and go a little deeper with you um, because a lot of good questions are coming in and I have more flow charts and things too. They're all in the full training. Um, but basically the idea with this is the way that you set up your LinkedIn messages and the sales psychology, of course, is you've got kind of that template and I'll actually link to the template that I was talking about the perfect one-on-one -on -one message. So link to message template. So look in the chat box there. It says link to message template, open that up and save it as a tab or whatever, a bookmark it. That's actually going to give you those four components of that one-on-one -on -one messaging script, ask a question, you know, offer something of value, kick off the pressure, all those that's all in that URL. I just put in the chat box and you can save that for later. Come back to it. It's actually got some samples in there and additional training videos, that's the core thing. If you get nothing else out of today's training, if you start messaging in that style, you will get business. You will get leads. You will get engagement. You will get conversations. And the beautiful thing about that style of messaging is it doesn't rely at all on anything other than how human beings work. Ask me questions. Qualify me. Am I interested? You've got something of value that will help me, that demonstrates you're really good at what you do, helps me get to know like and trust you. Now I trust you, now I wanna take it further and buy from you. So uh, the URL is just, uh, Sue, it's in the chat. So I will actually, I'll share my screen for you. 
and you'll see. So, and then I'll just put it back in. But basically, I'll do screen share here real quick. And then it's just this page. It's linkedinriches.com forward slash lead generation. It's actually just on my blog. And so uh, let me put that back in. Link to script. So just look at the chat box area. It should be clickable. Okay, good. Yeah, and this will walk you through it. And there's more in here as well with different ways to manage uh, connections and manage all the different you know, messages because they know someone else asked about that. And there's a couple of different things. Somebody was asking me earlier, um, this is a long, this is kind of getting too long for a webinar, but do you use automation tools? Should you use them? What do you use? How do you organize it? So there's a long backstory to this. But basically, if you're not familiar with the whole backstory, Oh, Brett was a good fan, a good man, wasn't he, to, to let me beat him up like that? <laughs> um, you don't have to use automated tools. But here's one of the cool things you can do. Um, you can either have a virtual assistant come in here and message people for you, or you can use an automation tool. So here's an example. I actually have a virtual assistant that I give this script to. Some of you may be watching right now because you got this script from me on LinkedIn. So what I do is I tell my virtual assistant, hey, I have this group of first level LinkedIn connections and I sorted them by a tag. I want you to go in and one-on-one -on -one copy and paste this script, just change the first name. So, hey, Liz, hey, Joe, hey, Sally. And the virtual assistant just goes into LinkedIn, literally sends this script. Um, and again, do you want to join us? Ask permission. If they say yes, then we get them registered. So here's another little thing that I've learned works really well. What I found when I'm sharing, you know, offers in LinkedIn to free content, webinars, whatever, when someone says yes, they don't always follow through and actually go opt in. So what you can do is they've really given you permission. They've given you permission. Let me just make sure the screen sharing is working. They've given you permission by saying, yes, I'm interested in the ebook, the webinar, whatever. So you can just go to their contact info page, click on contact info, and just grab their email. You don't all have to email me right now, right? But you can grab their email. Then I go over and I've trained my VA. So if I message John Nemo and said, hey, John, I've got a free live training on Friday on LinkedIn lead hacks. Would you like to attend? If so, just reply yes. If not, no worries. If John Nemo says, yeah, sounds cool. I'd love to check it out. I will go to his page. I'll click on contact info. I will grab his email from here and I will go manually opt him in. And the reason this is so powerful is you're saving the other person time. Like I literally did this the other day with someone who I just opted in because he said, yeah, I want to check out your webinar. So this is a way to really build your email list in an ethical way. I'm not talking about finding every contact and just grabbing their email and opting them in. But in the example here, you can see it actually went through with Elizabeth here, where my virtual assistant, you know, sent this script. Liz said, yes, thank you. My VA went over, opted her in, and then came back. Whoops, let me get to the right screen and said, awesome. I got you registered. Here's the language we use. I got you registered for the webinar or whatever using the email I found associated with your LinkedIn account. So you're telling the prospect, hey, I'm saving you the trouble. I went ahead and opted you in or I sent the ebook to this email, right? And then if you need me to register you with a different address, just let me know. Otherwise, you should be all set. Check your email for login. Now, what's beautiful is when they've opted in, now on the back end with Webinar Jam and with my email list, I now can send that person more messages. And someone asked earlier, how do you organize all these conversations? This is one way because I've taken this prospect off of LinkedIn. Now she's on my email list. So she automatically will get links to the webinar and links to more training related to it and links to more resources so I can nurture her along through her email box instead of only using LinkedIn messages. And then I also offer more free tips here. She says, thanks, have a great weekend. Now I'm gonna personalize this, say yes, send in my one of my favorite gifts, a little kid screaming yes, 
So excited, Liz. Can't wait to see you on a live session soon. Have a great weekend. Right. And then again, you can always personalize this. That's what's so cool about it is, again, right here, you can insert images, animated GIFs. I can look at Liz's profile if I click on her name. I can see she lives in Chicago. Right. I can learn more about her, where she went to school. Okay, she works at the University of Illinois. Like I grew up, I was born in Peoria, Illinois, so I can throw that in there. Hey, I'm from Illinois too. So there's lots of different ways. Again, all of this is around personalized one-on-one -on -one engagement, all of it. And, and the idea, of course, is I'm you know personalizing it, making it fun, bringing in my personality with the you know funny imagery, but I'm also offering value. And when this person says yes then I can just grab their email, opt them in manually or have my virtual assistant do it. And that way I build my email list. I nurture the conversation along through my site and then it works much better. Okay. So Nancy has a question. What if they don't have their email listed? Then you just send them the link. So then in that case, Nancy, I would say, Hey, awesome. Um, here's the link to sign up. And then I would just make a note to follow up with the person to make sure they registered. Or I would say, hey, if you want to shoot me back your email, I can get you signed up. So sometimes you have to chase them that way. Um, yeah, here's my calendar, pick out a time, blah, 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 right? So yeah, just do the full service. Make it easy for them, right? Um, do I pay? Yeah, I pay a virtual assistant for services, obviously. Um, you, can, you can definitely do that. So you can use a virtual assistant to do this. If you give the VA your script, and just say, here's my list of prospects, go through these names one at a time, copy, paste, change the first name. You can get about 100 of these messages out in an hour. Or if you do it yourself, if you really sit down and copy, paste, you can get 100 of these out in an hour. And you can see over time, I've done this, right? Hey, curious, would you be interested in this? Yes, here's a case where I just sent her the link and hoped she signed up. Now, what I've learned is, it's better just to opt her in, right? Because it's just going to get her on my list. Um, the other thing somebody asked about is automation tools. And the one that I'm using right now is called Zopto. And if you're not familiar with, uh, and I'll lock into mine so I don't I have all my client ones on here too, but um, LinkedIn doesn't like automation. So you're not supposed to do automation. I'm not going to recommend it and, and say you should, um, but it is a really powerful way to organize if you use you don't even have to use the automation features as much as just using the crm that's built in so for example i can go in here and i've tagged all these people in sales navigator in financial services and i know their jobs or companies and so it just makes it easier to organize my messaging and, and there's i don't want to get too far into this because there's a lot behind automation um but it's definitely another avenue you don't have to use automation. The tool I like is called Zopto. Um, oh, here's my offer. <laughs> I'm jumping the gun, making it frictionless, Christina. Exactly. Um, let me, if, yeah, I can talk more about Zopto later, but let's do this. Let's do this because we're going to run out of time. I want to make sure if you're ready to take a deep dive on this and actually start getting leads this weekend on LinkedIn, if you like what you're seeing, uh, I'd love to get you enrolled in LinkedIn Riches in the online course. And I know some of you watching right now are already part of LinkedIn Riches. Feel free to chirp up in the comments and tell people how great it is. Um, for those of you that aren't part of it yet, I'm going to actually launch the offer here and oh gosh, I don't have it in here. Can you believe that? Okay, so let me actually put the offer in and then I'll explain it all to you. So let's do this. I'll say get LinkedIn Riches online course here. Put that in. This is a special link. Get LinkedIn Riches online course. Thank you, Bill. Bill says it's excellent. I love it, I love it, I love it. So I'm putting in, and I'll actually also put in the URL. I'll do a redirect so everybody gets that. Okay. So I'm going to redirect everyone to that page too. Shemez, okay, you're jumping in. John and LinkedIn Riches are awesome. Thank you, my friend. So what I'm going to do is actually share my screen. And this is the offer page. And some of my students are on right now, so they can tell you about the course. But you can get in for as little as $197 a month payment plan. It'd be 12 payments of $197 a month, or there's a one-time payment option. 
And what you're going to get here, what's inside is actually um, 10 hours of video training. It's video modules, just like the ones you've been watching today, 30 different templates. You get all the audio files. There's a 30 day risk free money back guarantee. It never expires. You get lifetime access updates. Also, you can see on the page here, everything that we're going to cover. And then also for anyone that signs up today, you're going to get a one-on-one -on -one bonus call with me. So anyone that signs up, actually two bonuses, I forgot. You get group coaching, 90 days of free group coaching with me. And then you also get a one-on-one -on -one bonus call with me. So anyone that signs up today, either you can either do the payment plan, 197 a month, or there's a um, one-time payment of 1997. Just click the green get started button. And that's going to take you to a new page where you can check out. And this will tell you exactly what you're getting. And I'll go back here in a second and show you. Then you just choose which option you want, the payment plan, or if you do the one-time payment, you save about 400 bucks. Then make sure you click this blue button, add the free trial, um, because that's 90 days of free group coaching. I do live group coaching every month. We have a private Facebook group. You get all that free for 90 days. There's no charge. Uh, and at the end of the 90 days, you get an alert. Hey, your free trial is ending. Do you want to keep going? It's a separate monthly fee. But here's the key thing. What I'll show you uh, as far as what's inside LinkedIn Riches. So let me actually go into the training. Whoops. There we go. Training home. For everybody, if you're on the webinar page right now, okay. Yes. Sue said, I went through LinkedIn Riches while ago. It's super. Can I see the course again? New computer. Yeah, Sue. Yeah, it's all updated. It's all new. Like you have lifetime access. So Sue, you're already a member. Um, yes. And lifetime access, John, exists even as LinkedIn changes. Like I've been doing LinkedIn Riches, the online course since 2014. So imagine over the last six years, how much LinkedIn has changed. Uh, I constantly update the course, new videos, new scripts, new templates, because LinkedIn changes all the time. Uh, and so, yeah, for you, Sue, just email me, john at linkedinriches.com uh, and say, hey, help me find my login information. I'll get you logged back in. It's all still there. You have lifetime access. Um, and for those that haven't been through the training, uh, it's broken into three sections. You can see here, everything's on demand. And it really is pretty simple. Section one is just all about your profile how to create a client-facing lead generating LinkedIn profile. We start there and you can see there's nine different videos. I'm going to give you the exact words to use. I'm going to show you on a video, the strategies, help you niche. Section two is all about prospecting, where to find all the best prospects, how to do great searches, how to create, you know, content that's going to really get people engaged, the psychology of how to message people, inboxes, then we'll take this deep dive into automation. Do you want to do it? Do you not want to do it? Pros and cons. And then part three is really about how to sell because a lot of people have struggled with, okay, what's the ongoing strategy? How do I really close people over time? How do I keep everyone organized? How do I organize all my messages and all my connections and all my conversations? I cover all that. How do I do some warm emails and warm calls? And how do I find more warm leads? All of that is here. All of that's in the training. And you can see what a typical page looks like here is here's the training video that you play. It's actually got chapter markers, so you can kind of skip back and forth. Here's the invite strategy. Here's the question. Then here you can download the scripts, the audio, the transcripts, and then you've got the rest of the course here. We've also got the bonus group coaching calls. So here's the May call. You can rewatch. We do live coaching. We've got a live um, Facebook group that you can join and become a member there. And then you get access to our Facebook group every single day. You can talk to me. And really all of it comes with a 30-day risk-free guarantee. This is what I'm best known for. This is the course that honestly gets you the quickest wins. So if you want to use LinkedIn to find and engage and sell quickly using kind of some of the strategies I talked about today, this is it. This is the course that will get you results, that will get you leads immediately. Like there's, there is no doubt in my mind. Like, and you can read through this page, see exactly what we cover, the layout of it, all the different testimonials. There's about a gajillion people on here talking, big name people like Chris Brogan, John Lee Dumas, and then also real results like students of mine that are saying like John Hawkins, 50 grand in new sales, Paul Kafka, $20,000 in sales. 
Bill Prater, 7,500 monthly retainer. These are all people who use the online course to get new clients, right? To get real dollars and cents revenue and, you know, timing and all that. So all that's in there. There is no fluff. I like that too. Like Brian Tax is like, this is, it's just what works. Like it's very simple. Go through these. You can see it's really tailored to you if you're a coach, a consultant, a small business owner, a sales professional, anyone that has to find and engage and sell, it's for you. It really, it's made for that. And it's done in a way so that you can do it without being sleazy, without being spammy, without you know struggling, knowing what to say, how to say it. Um, so let me go in and answer some questions before we run out of time. Oh, this is nice. See, Joe, nobody has a better handle. Okay, thank you. Oh, thank you, man. That's nice. I didn't even ask for that. Terry, yeah, Terry's killing it. Terry Swinson's a rock star. Um, lifetime access, yes. Uh, this is awesome. So let me know if you have questions. Uh, I will turn off the screen share. Um, let me see, make sure people can get logged in if you have questions. Yeah, so basically, uh, right now, we've got a couple minutes left. Anyone that signs up today for the online course, whether you do the payment plan or the one-time payment, key things to know, risk-free, 30 days, no hassle, no homework, no questions asked. you got plenty of time. And the course is designed... You can do the whole course and implement it and be up and running in less than 10 hours. Like that's, if you want to just binge through it over the weekend and implement as you go, there's no reason you can't start generating leads. Like there are people who have gotten new sales within 24 hours. Like it's made again, just to get quick results. And so what I would love to do for anyone that signs up today, whether you do the payment plan, the one-time payment, you're going to get an hour of my one-on-one -on -one time for free, coaching you, consulting you, helping you niche in. And you're also going to get 90 days of free group access, okay? Um, and Jeremy says, have you adapted scripts? Yes, I have for the pandemic and current events. Yes. So I add new scripts all the time. Um, and I do those a lot too, Jeremy, on the coaching calls and the group training or your one-on-one -on -one to really kind of play into the current situations. So like, for example, with these noon with Nemo webinars I'm doing on Fridays, uh, I'll talk about, hey, you know, when the pandemic first hit, I was like, hey, if you're stuck at home, you don't want to watch another boring webinar. I've got these sessions on Fridays where I'm really crazy and lots of caffeine. Do you want to check it out? So there are ways and I'll help you too, Jeremy and anyone else. When you um, do your one-on-one -on -one bonus call with me, I will write the scripts with you and for you on the one-on-one -on -one call. Because what we do, we have an hour together, so you can really tell me your story, and you know your audience really well, but my gifting is I'm going to be able to go in and say, okay, based on that, and based on the formulas and the templates that I know work, let's just write a script right now. You know, you can say to me, um, hey, you know what, I've got this specific type of person, this is what I sell, I can help you craft that. So here's what I want to do. Um, do I have ideas about what to offer? Oh, hey, Bob King, I just got your survey. I need to talk to you. Um, do you have ideas about what to offer? Meaning like products or services or content? I do. I mean, that's part of the one-on-one -on -one coaching call, Bob, is I will help you with, you know, how to position yourself, what to create as kind of your incentive for people to want to talk to you. If it's a free piece of content, a case study, like you're doing insurance, for example, um, I can show you an example where I helped a client with a case study. He does Aflac, so it's a little different. Um, but he actually, I helped him create a case study. We can find him. I can't find him. Let me see if I can find it. But yeah, I'll, I'll give you ideas on how to create content and then also how to structure your offers because that's part of it too. Um, and then Phyllis says, do you update the files that exist client? Yes. Yes. It's all updated Phyllis. Yes. You can get updated files. You can get, um, updated videos. And again, you have lifetime access. So even someone like Sue who went through it years ago, you can come back. Like I've had a lot of people lately coming back. Like, yeah, I used it in 2016, kind of got into other stuff, but is it still current? Yes. So like, that's the nice thing about it is you sign up today you're good forever. Like there's no more ongoing costs. There's no more, you know, charges, things like that. So let me do this. I want to make sure everyone is getting signed up, gets in. So get the training now. Uh, I'm going to put that in the chat box. I'll also open up 
the re- redirect link for anyone who hasn't signed up yet. Uh, a new tab should open up for you. And then you can pop in there. There's also a one-on-one chat option. Sorry, the my live chat person's going crazy now. There's one-on-one chat too. So if you want to take it further and ask me one-on-one questions, um, I can help you with that and give you insights and advice on your situation. Will it work for me? I do this type of work. Will it work? Here's what I want to do. Just hit the one-on-one chat option. You should see, and before I finish, I'll just show you a quick screen share. On the actual page, the checkout page, in the bottom right corner, it says chat with John Nemo. Just click on that and my face will pop up and then we can chat live. So there you go. I cannot wait to work with those of you that are signing up. I'm super, super excited. Um, With all that said, thank you, thank you, thank you for being on. I hope you have an amazing weekend. Get active on LinkedIn. Um, And Sue says, I know someone I'd like to recommend you to. Is it better for her? Yeah, send me her information, Sue. And if you want to make an introduction, that's great. Um, Yeah, is it better for me to tell her about you? or? Yeah, no, either way. Sue, why don't you just shoot me an email, john at linkedinriches.com. I'll put that in. John at linkedinriches.com. For the rest of you, um, get signed up. Hit the live chat if you have questions for me before you get signed up, and we'll get you going. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Have a great weekend. I'm going to end the live broadcast for now, but you can go over to the LinkedIn Riches checkout page, hit uh, the live chat button. We can keep talking one-on-one there, and I can't wait to work with you. All right, talk to each of you soon. Have a great weekend. Be safe. We'll talk to you soon.